Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small block non-combat vehicle, and this one is called the Immortal Car, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small block non-combat vehicle, like I said, that looks very shocked to see us. If we come all the way around towards the very front here, we'll see it's got some lovely ears on the side, it's got its two eyes and a wide open mouth. But anyway, all the way over to here and pressing F10, finding it in the spawn menu. The immortal car is 174 small blocks using the heavy industry and Wasteland DLC packs. We got no other information whatsoever on the Steam Workshop page, so simply give this a thumbs up. Move all the way around to the very front. My character can now just bugger off into the distance. There we go. Have a quick look around the outside. We'll see what it has to offer. Then we'll drive it around for a bit to see what it can do. So at the very front here, this is what we get. Front and centre, we can see ourselves a small access point, which is going to be for our standard cockpit sitting behind all of these blocks. We also got a camera to help aim straight forwards, because once we're in the cockpit, we're not going to have a very good view forwards, so we might bump into stuff without it. We also have a spotlight to see light up the darkness, then we can see our lovely yellow and white blocks. If we were to move all the way around onto this side, this is what we get, some more yellow and white blocks, there's that sort of reddish orangey block that's acting like our ear, or even just a wing mirror. And along the side over here, we've got ourselves a hydrogen tank. Behind this barred window block, we've got ourselves a air vent to suck in oxygen to refill your tanks. And also behind there, we can see a battery for some additional power. Towards the back here, another hydrogen tank. And around at the very back here, we've got ourselves a connector to load up any kind of hydrogen, any kind of stuff you need to transport from one place to another. So all the way around it like so, and then looking down, we do have some window blocks here inside where we can see a auction tank and just the green little bars telling us how full it is. If it was to pull the camera all the way inside, what we're going to see is a lot of stuff going on. It's got antennas, we then got all the way over here a hydrogen engine, got cargo containers, a parachute hatch on top, and then towards the front all the way over here, we've got ourselves a remote control block, and then there is our cockpit sitting behind our spotlight and our camera. If we were to take a look at this side, instead of having our barred window blocks, our air vent and our batteries, instead we can see the bottom of our hydrogen engine and a couple more batteries. Make sure we can run along for a nice long time in case we don't have the hydrogen to power that engine. If we were to come all the way up and above and look down, there is the top of that parachute hatch. There are some more windows to peer inside and there is a gap at the front there behind those window blocks to allow you to get in without removing any blocks. If we were then to come down and underneath this vehicle, not too much else to talk about, we simply see how these suspensions have been connected up to the main body, then going along towards the very back there. There we go. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the immortal car, and it does look rather adorable. I still don't know if the face is deliberate or not, or maybe I'm just seeing things that are not actually there, but it does look rather funny. Anyway, grabbing hold of my character, coming all the way over to the top of this vehicle, it's time to get into this little slit, and into the cockpit. In first person view, this is all we get. Looking around there, we can see the sky, but we can't really see too much at the very front. Looking down at the cockpit LCD screens, we've got our artificial horizon, our planetary gravity, and then our hydrogen and power usage. And then bring up the HUD, these are the controls that we get. Just touching on number four very quickly, these are the exact same controls, but it just activates the remote control block. So there is that. Yes, just coming back out of that. Number one is for our parachute hatch to open and close it. Number three is for our camera at the front so we can get a good view of where we're driving. Number four is the remote control block we just talked about. Number six is that connector at the back there to lock and unlock it. And then number seven is for that hydrogen engine in case you need it. You can generally just use this hydrogen engine to top off the batteries and then just turn it off when it's not needed just to save on some fuel. And then the last thing is the antenna on and off just in case you want to hide your signals. And there we go, that is that for the controls of this vehicle. So what we can do now is drive this thing around, then I can probably find something to crash it into, because there's not really too much else to talk about. It's just a short and sweet vehicle that I thought was quite fun to look at. So driving this thing around, what you will notice straight away is that it has no gyroscopes. So if you were to go over a cliff edge, you're not going to be able to realign the vehicle. You're going to have to be 100% reliant on that parachute to get you down safely. So that would be one thing I would change, and I think there is plenty of room on the inside you actually shove this in. You'll probably remove one of those blocks on the side there, but that's entirely up to you. 
Yes, doing a tight corner. This is what we get. Given the speed this thing goes, we can just about maintain it. It is wanting to tip over. As you can see there, the back wheels are coming off the ground, but it's doing a very good job at staying on the ground. And as for its maximum speed, which I did miss out, this is all we get. It travels along at roughly 16 meters per second. Well, a little bit over 15 meters per second. So it is a very slow vehicle to go out and explore, but still it's going to be a very safe in the long run. So what we can do now is just come to a stop. It's time to come into here and find our wheels. Here they are. Put this off the ground a little bit. There we go. We're going to put a bit more power on there. And now it's time to remove the speed limit. So just closing this off and charging forwards. We should get some more speed hit. Here we go. This is a lot better. We are getting very unstable. We're up to 80 meters per second. This thing is a little angry driving along here, but it's still doing a very good job. And there we go. That's a little tip over. And well, as you saw in the previous video, it's not so immortal. But once we come to a stop, if we come to a stop, I don't think it's going to come to a stop. There we go. We now come out of here. And well, it looks like we can just about move it around if I didn't flip it over. And there we go. But yes, that is it for the immortal car. It's a lovely little vehicle that you could customize and add different things onto here if you wanted to. But as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. I do recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.